All right, looks like I gotta redo this video. The last one only recorded my toolbar, so that was a lot of fun. <laughs> um, so, not sure where I left off. Hopefully you'll be able to catch up. I went and opened up this terminal here. Uh, that was part of this connector. So, this um, component that was in here, I went into my components, put the name in here, found it, and edited it. We're in here. Um, you do notice that it is still of type component, um, of a connector component per se. E3 gives you many options when it comes to creating components. Um, as far as component types go, there's standard components, there's connectors, there's tables, there's assemblies, there's sub-circuits. Um, and one of the options that they also have in there is uh, terminal, which I need to warn you if you're used to calling things like this a terminal that would typically go in a connector or a ring terminal or a, a quick disconnect those are all set up as type connectors in E3. Uh, the, the properties of a component type that has the type assigned terminal those are more for DIN rail terminals and block terminals where they get multiple connection points to them so right now we're going to just stick with connectors. Um, this has a lot of the same properties as a regular connector did, the one that we just had where it's got, you know, manufacturer, manufacturer part number, the class. Um, we use a T as a prefix for our terminals. Um, the last previous example, it was a P for a connector. Um, the series is in here. You can add hyperlinks that would go out to some manufacturer's website per se, um, some other references that you have. We put a strip length in here which can help guide um, someone assembling this to know how much to strip off of insulation uh, before they crimp it. And all these attributes that are in here are kind of up to you, what information is important to you and, and what you want. Um, we have things set up in ours to, to do certain things for us. So, um, Jumping over to the pins tab, you will know that this um, terminal that we're working on, this connector terminal, only has one cavity or one pin assigned to it. Um, it that's because it only has one spot where we can drop a wire into it. Um, it does not have any attributes attached to this cavity or this pin. It also doesn't have um, any fitting parts or any mating connectors assigned to it either, um, which makes sense. So again, these are all views. This is your schematic view. These are views um, that we can use in our, in our project. And then you also have the pin view or the table for the pin information. Um, you will notice that it does have this little rectangle living out on here. Um, this little thing is representative of a model so we'll show you in the next tutorial what this model is um, and why we would want to use them.